In this video, we will learn about joins and uh, transpose functionality in Power Query with some good example. So let me show you the data model. So here you can see we have uh, product category, product subcategory, and uh, then we have a product, uh, this product table, right? So we need to first join uh, these two tables. Then we will see how we can do table transpose in M language. So let's go to the Power Query editor. Just need to click transform data. And uh, here we have products category. This is one table and this one is the second table. So first we need to click like a product category and uh, then you can go to merge query here and click to the merge queries as new because we need to do all the transformation in a new query and here we have to select the column on which we will join these two tables the first the the column that we need this is the product key and the second table is product subcategory this one and then we need a product category as a foreign key here product category key right and here you can see uh, join kind uh, it's a left outer join and uh, because we need only those categories where the product category key is matched to the product subcategory table and uh, here we can choose inner inner join and click ok so every row is a table as you know already because we are getting against every product key we are, we are getting one table and uh, what we need is we are interested in the column uh, product English product category name. So we need to add another column here. Just need to go to the click. We just need to click add column, custom column. Here we have to write one function table dot select column. Then we need to provide one. The first parameter is the table and here you can see the name of the table is team product subcategory key. This is the column that contains table information, table with every row. So here we have to provide team subcategory, this one. And uh, then which column, in which column we are interested? We are interested in the English product subcategory name. So it will be English and we need to close. So here you can see we are getting one error. So there is a problem with the column name. So we need to click here setting. So we just need to change. There is some because the column name was not correct. So English product subcategory name. Click OK. So here you can see we are getting uh, this table for every product category. And uh, below you can see there are different uh, subcategories against every category and we need to uh, transpose this column in front of every product category so how we can do that we just need to add one more column here let me zoom it and uh, here we have to write for example table dot transpose so this is the function that need one table and what is the table it's a custom right just a one column table close and here you can and then we need to click ok so here you can see if you click here we are getting different columns depending on the value so we will get as many columns as we have values or the rows in the product subcategory column 
and uh, so what we need to do now just click here and uh, we need all click ok and we don't need custom columns product subcategory french spanish we just need to delete and here you can see now we can change the the name of the column depending on your requirement so here you can see this is the product category and with every product category you can see the number of subcategories are being transposed so here you can see how easy it is to transpose rows into columns in the next video we will try to add a list in it and uh, some more tables and then we will try to solve one a business problem and then we will close uh, this topic so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and uh, if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you